Another Realm is a narrative-driven tabletop role-playing game podcast. For this season, we're using the Dungeons & Dragons 5e rules. Hmm, kinda. Sometimes the language on this podcast can get a little spicy. But if that doesn't bother you, my name is Will, and I play Six. I'm Bruce, and I'm the voice of Archie. I'm Frazier, and I play Marg Bark Smoth. My name is Emily, and I'm the voice of Osiris t Sun. And I'm your game master, Tanner, and this is what happened on the last episode of Nether Realm: The Never There. The trial wasn't really a trial. It was a sham, but we already expected that. Archie, Six, Margbark, and Osiris pointlessly presented their case, and the only thing they accomplished was to drag Chandri Aberlane into this mess. Six thought a zone of truth would help, but Judge Glimes Felic was well versed in sideways answers. Once Archie concluded that words were no longer useful, he finally broke free of his manacles and started the fight. Luckily, the party had allies in the gallery. But even with the help, Osiris fell. As two bailiffs tried to drag her out of the room, the party realized what's just on the other side of the door. Enemy reinforcements. hear the commotion outside of the courtroom from the main hall. You know the guards are about to bust through this door. It will be nearly impossible to escape with the numbers that they have in Port Wayworth. Archie, you are completely aware of this. You know if they amass guards and they take them for any of their posts, they will quickly swarm you and you're done. Um, and at this point with this kind of commotion, there's going to be no trial. So anyone taken now will be directly taken to uh, hang or be chopped, whichever they'd feel is quicker and messier and makes a better statement. So if you guys would like to talk among your, uh, amongst yourselves um, and then you know talk out in character uh, what you want to do because one more round of combat and you get got. Well, we have a really big problem here and that's that two guards currently have a hold of Osiris. Yeah, they're Correct. carrying her off, and it is not a good yeah, situation. I agree. Can't do shit. Also, like, we've gotten the description of the courtroom, but do we know where our weapons are? Uh, your best assumption, like I said at the beginning, is that they are back down the hallway to the jail. Um, so that would be the door on the back right, on to, to the right of the judge's podium. Um, because that's just where they would keep your things. They would have everything in holding until you're convicted, and then they'd do whatever they want with it. But right now... Um, that's your assumption. Oh, here's a good question. How far, now that I am blinked out of existence on the ethereal plane, how far am I, or was my position from where I blinked, away from said door where I might be able to go access our things? I believe your spell should tell you how far you're able to go, whether or not it's random. Ten feet. So I can I can pick a spot, unoccupied spot within ten feet of where I disappeared from. Right, gotcha. So, I mean, as far as uh, you are about in the center, the courtrooms aren't too big. It would take you two blinks uh, to get to the back wall, to, to get to that back door. So you are currently blinked out. Um, but you'll see, like, in this sort of courtroom setting, right now everyone is occupied with other people and are mostly amassed, mostly, are mostly amassed in the center. So your blink around, these are just bailiffs and, uh, you know, who, who deal with normal ass people. Um, so potentially you could make a, a quick break for the door. So that's what I was going to ask. Can I blink back into position 10 feet away toward the door and then use my movement to get to the door and out of it to find 100%. Yep. Yep. You can, I don't know if you it's can... my turn, but that's what I'm going to do. It's not. You are pretty far down this list. All right. We'll uh, wait you it out. Go we'll see what happens. Everyone else on the team. 
Cool. Way to, way to go. We'll, we'll wait it out and see what happens before I make that decision. But it sounds like a decent plan as of now. Yeah. Um, okay, so then six. Uh, how, many, how many guards have Osiris? Two guards are taking her uh, towards the door. Um, I've got one that's marked as, as having primary control. He is very bloodied. Um, and they are approaching the door very quickly. Honestly, I can't remember if they made it out the door or not last time. They did not. They, they got okay, cool. one round away because yeah, I was talking about how yeah, I could catch yeah. them because I have more movement speed. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. So Six says, Archie, do you think you can get Osiris? I'm going to go for our weapons and, and stuff. It sounds like we're going to be captured pretty soon if we're not careful. I hear a bunch of guards coming. He responds with a snarl, and that's all you get as he is just murdering guards. Completely feral. Yeah, more or less. Hey, Will, can you give me another another reading of that with, you know, actual worry and intention in your voice instead of, hey, we need to get out of here. Oh, oh you mean like, okay, let me, okay, let's try it again. Let's do it in uh, true yeah. six form. Yeah. Hey, guys, we should really no, get out of here. here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> So I hear guards coming, and they are terrible. Oh no, Archie! Perfect, <laughs> perfect. Archie, okay, great. All right, thank, all right, you. Archie. thank you for doing that. <laughs> Archie, we gotta go. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't know what when Six's turn is, but I've got an action At the to top do. Of the order, actually. Hey, yeah. so you'll okay. be next. Okay, so one concern that you might want to take note of is the number of allies that you have in this courtroom that would also be swarmed. So communicating with them and having some sort of plan to get them out might be really good. At this point in time, you're at a really good position based on who is left on your team and who is left on the rest. That is until I start these rolls at the top of the combat order. So that will happen before you move six. We have, I mean, okay, I'm going to be, I'm trying to, I'm trying to play along and trying to be in it, but in this situation, how the fuck are we getting out of this? You know what I mean? Like there is, there is no clear path. The only exit is behind us and there's guards in that main hall. So there's two doors that you're uncertain about. There is the one that goes back to the jail and one that goes to the judge's chambers. And you don't know what the exits or how everything looks in there. You did come out of the, um, the one that goes to the jail. So you know the basic path there and that somewhere along there would be an exit. Now, you do have people that you could rely on. Uh, jail cells are quite often built very similarly. So you have guard Captain Harn here who would maybe know some things about that. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say that at our next turn, everyone's going to couple their actions together because it's uh, six, uh, then Archie Osiris, uh, a couple of two... One guard, no, two guards, and then Marg Bark. So everyone can kind of make common moves at this point based on who all has been called. We're actually going to see right now uh, what the other combatants look like. So everyone's kind of been fighting on their own in sort of groups. We've had the satyrs up against the other gang leaders. Um, Haran has been mainly focused on Trit. And uh, Reggie and Elliot have been fighting uh, amongst themselves. Um, you've basically had support from Aaron and uh, Elias. Um, so, uh, I'm going to roll for our satyrs versus gang leaders. I'm going to roll a D4, uh, for the satyrs first, and then a D4 for the gang leaders. And that's going to determine how many of them, um, are, are down, uh, whether or not they're dead, you wouldn't know. All right. So satyrs, all of them are down. Poor drunk bastards. Poor drunk bastards. Uh, gang leaders, three of them are down. So were there four and four of each of those? Yes. Okay. So there's only one gang leader left of eight of gang leaders and satyrs combined. Correct. Yep. Um, all right. So that's those. It looks like the gang leaders were able to come out on top between that uh, 4v4 combat. Um, all right. Now I'm going to go for Harin versus Trit. Uh we're going to do heads or tails. And since it's H and T, Harn and Trit, Harn is heads, Trit is tails. Uh, whoever wins stands up. How serendipitous. Come on, Harn. It's not Harn. No. Harn remains standing. Ooh, oh, nice. Yes. Yes. My Although man. Although he might hate us now because I pissed off Chandri. We did not have faith in you, boy. All right. And the last one is Reggie versus Elliot to see who remains standing. Uh, Reggie is heads. Elliot is tails. Elliot remains standing. 
Ew, that's not good. Well, that changes everything, so. That's unfortunate for everyone who expected Archie to help them get out of this now, because that's that's off the plate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nice. there's always the grab and dash. All right, so we are back at the top of the order. Uh, the guards are basically taking their, uh, will be taking their turns to regroup, um, hearing the other, uh, their reinforcements are coming down the hallway. Um, so everyone now can move at the same time uh, who is still up. Now, we will say that Osiris is still being dragged out the front doors. Um, Mark Bark's in blink mode, and uh, I believe Six still has a spell up for, you know, Spirit Guardians. Yeah, Spirit Guardians are just hanging out there. Uh, it's it's still Death and Navar just chilling, doing some sort of cool dance around in a circle. All right. They're playing chess. Why aren't they playing chess? They, sure, they're playing chess. I pulled out the chessboard. They got it. Boom. Actually, it's, it's like an ethereal chessboard. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take my move before Archie does his crazy thing. Because Archie's about to go ham on Elliot, I do believe. Six is, gonna, six is going to uh, guiding bolt. He's going to shoot guiding bolt at the, the very bloody guard that's taking out um, Osiris. All right. Roll to hit. Oh, that's a 17 on dice plus uh, that, that 6, hits. 23. Yep, that hits. Yeah, all right. So uh, what happens there is um, he takes 4d6 plus 1d6 per spell level uh, radiant damage. So let's see what he gets. That's uh, 13, 13 damage to that guy. He drops both himself and Osiris. Nice. All right. Then I'm going to use all my movement. I don't know what happens to my my good boys protecting me, Death and uh, Navar, but I'm going to use all my movement to run over there and get in between the guards in the door if I can. So it just says that they flit. Oh, target self, 15-foot radius, so they follow you. Oh, they follow me. So they're up there with me and that guy, and he's going to have to roll a... a when he enters, eight. isn't it? When he, or when he t- finishes his turn within the radius. Uh, when the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wisdom saving throw. So, All right. in other words, if it's following me, if that's true, I'll let around that be you, entering. distance of 15 feet. Yep. Yep. All right. So uh, I have to make a wisdom saving throw, you said? Or take three. Yeah. And the wisdom saving throw is 14. You need to beat a 14. That's a 10 on the dice with wisdom uh, modifier of plus zero. Zero. Hey, got him. Oh, well, that first one's a one. Second one's an eight. Oh, oh, we're getting the spectrum there. Third one's a two. Okay, so he takes 11 necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, He is still standing. Yeah, so he will have to do that again when he starts his turn there, but since he just entered it. So uh, he's going to die. That's good. It's yeah. great. It's great. Yes. It's good. It's good. Yay, beat the good spell. DM. It's a really beat good spell. I didn't realize it followed me. Thank you, Fuck that Bruce. Bruce. Wait, the only reason uh, I believe it follows you is because it's targeted on us on self. That means it yeah. remains you at the radius. If it was a point, like... A 15-foot radius, the middle of the self. point, it would stay there. Yeah, but yeah. it I says think, on I self. Think that's, it does say on self. I believe self. that's correct. That guy who just took that attack was the other guard who's Correct. carrying Osiris? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so one of them's down and one of them is like now severely. So injured. in other words, Six has this under control. We have several other objectives that we need That's to. That's what I was looking for. We yeah. know what Archie's okay. objective is. It's raw. <laughs> it's raw. <laughs> Archie rah. snarls. <laughs> Archie gives a grr, grr, grr. <laughs> Is that what he does? I don't know what that was. Yep. That's, that's a wolf having yeah, a that's fucking a, heart is attack. That, that's grr, his grr, wolf sound. Grr, 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 grr. Archie, it is your turn. Um, well, it's actually Elliot right before you, uh, since we're doing in full turn order. Um, all right, so Elliot, now that he is uh, downed... Um, Victor. No, Reggie. No, Reggie, Reggie. Thank you. I was like, Victor's the other one. Thank you. I was like, Ugh. uh, Elliot, now that he has downed Reggie, um, we'll look around seeing that he is, uh, probably not going to get in the, the complete fray of the fight. Um, he's going to bust ass, uh, towards the judges chambers. Um, because he has seen no, re- no reason to try and go out the main doors at this point since six is over there. So he'll start making his movement over there. Okay. So, 
Guys, I just want to, like, outside of game, uh, this is a bit of metagaming, but we're in a tight situation, so I think it requires a little bit of coordination between us. I think we head for the judges' chamber. There's got to be an exit in there. These motherfuckers are all headed there. Bro, let's... So are you not concerned with your weapons? No, no. I mean, we need I'm to get not those. concerned with my weapons. We need to get those. <laughs> we need to get those because we got we got stuff for, for Osiris and Archie that we need to get back. All right, so unless something changes between here and my turn, which is like six years from now, <laughs> I'm planning to head toward the door to try and retrieve your weapons. Board. Yes, 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 yes. Do okay. all of that. That is that is perfect. So obviously then, Archie's got his own plan and we can't change it. So no, not not in his rage form and yeah, well he's no, headed we, where yeah. we're gonna be headed anyways because I mean, Elliot just, because now it seems like Elliot's gone yeah, that yeah, direction yeah. too. So ultimately, yeah, I think that's a good goal. We're too. following Archie. I'm gonna I'm gonna get Osiris, I'm gonna handle the Osiris thing. This is cool. This we don't typically do a lot of planning, but it seems like this needs some planning. Seems like we need to. Yeah. All right. I'm just yeah. waiting. I'm just waiting to hear that. What's the plan? Okay. So what's the plan? What? You kill Elliot. You, Let's you go. do. Okay. You, right. <laughs> you kill Elliot. We're following you. <laughs> oh, it's good. My flaw literally says forget the plan, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Hey, right, you play you, dude. We're gonna try to keep Archie and everybody alive. This might be real. All right. Archie so does. Elliot makes it into the judges' chambers. That is the end of his turn. Uh. Archie, hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, how far is Reggie away from me? Um, the door, I, because I said it was what from Mark. Wait, Bark, wait. I he said, said was, Reggie, not Elliot. Reggie. Oh, Reggie. Elliot. Reggie. Reggie is. Uh, Reggie is probably fifteen feet away. Cool. I like Wolverine leap over to him. Like, Wolverine or saber tooth? That's a good question. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Damn, I like the face of contemplation that just came out. I know, it's so good, though. Ah! It's like, holy shit, wow, what a Wolverine. question. Okay, all right. He, yep. he rolled to see which one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you 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 dive. It's uh, it fucking menacing. It's basically, it's yeah, scary. it's basically like, like animalistic almost. But, yeah, uh, like you try and do it in your dreams, but it, and it's real successful. And then sometimes you think, hey, have I ever done that in real life? And then you realize, no, I haven't, because that'd be fucking stupid, you weirdo. So, yeah, please go ahead. Oh, well, I definitely make it, because I can extend my jumps up to feet of an athletics check, and I just roll Well, it's also, so. it's, it's also just your... Your, it's a, it's spicy movement. You're making spicy movement. It's fine. I'm not going to require a long <laughs> jump for this. You just just flavored it up. I can do it. All you uh, You people out there saying that you can't jump that far in D and D. Anyway, yeah, no. I just so he's is he incapacitated, like out, or is he just like? Uh, you'll have to do a medicine check if you are currently capable of it. I'm not. (laughs) I'm not normally capable of it. So, so. all right, I'm just gonna. Okay, all right. Well, then I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna scoop him. Mm? Just gonna do the scoop. I'm gonna ranger roll for anybody who doesn't know what that is. Go Google it. Um. It's where you somersault and grab somebody's leg and they end up on your shoulder. It's really cool. Anyway, um, grab him and then I'm just going to use the rest of my movement. Actually, hold on. Where? How close are the satyrs? Uh, scattered about. Oh, well, I'm just going to try to go pick them up now. Okay. Um, it Saving is, the satyrs. You can probably with the rest of your... Because these are going to do take up some action, so I'll let you do multiple pickups for, as part of like your action bonus action. I wasn't going to do anything else. I was literally just going to pick trip, shoulder everyone in my my crazy rage form and say, "Let's get the fuck out of here." There are two satyrs nearby that you could get to, and and I'll let you have your bonus action to pick them up. Why? Okay, cool. Why is this not the turn that I imagined Archie to do? <laughs> it's not at I, all. Yeah, I, this I is am, not I what am I was super expecting. happy about it, but it's just. I was like, okay, Archie's just going to zone in on Elliot, kill that son bitch, and then we're going to keep going. But uh, hey no. guys, hey guys, hey guys, subverting expectations. Love, all right, yes. exists. Shut up, hippie. Dude, that's it's a great turn. It's a wonderful <laughs> well, turn. Well, he'd be a pretty shitty uncle if both the, his brother and his nephew's life was on his fucking shoulders. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's a it's a great turn. I just I, that subverted my expectations. I'm very yeah, ha- right. I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay, so where are you stacking um, the satyrs? How are you carrying? Uh, I'm just, all these I'm people? just like shouldering them. Yeah. Okay, I, j- in order to do this, uh, I just want a strength check from you. Um, it's just to see oh, if you're no, going to be able to so bad at that. continue moving and do do all the shit that you want to do. There's no way you're going to pass this check. Twenty three. Uh, okay. Oh, surprise! 
Hey, there was another satyr nearby. You picked him up. No, I'm not going to let you pick up four people at once. He's you got have four satyrs on satyrs. How much do satyrs weigh? Are I they don't... fat satyrs? <laughs> They're jolly. They got beer bellies. They, they got sure. beer how, tall, bellies. How, how tall are satyrs? Uh, like five, five and a half feet-ish. Okay. All right. I didn't know. I was a legit question. Like, so they're they're okay. They're probably about the size. Like they're of also a, they're like a, Emily a size. Osiris size or Emily size? No, like Emily size. Like as but tall. They're, actually, they're five to six feet in height. Yes. Okay. And good. they're 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 medium. Their right? size. Medium. Yeah, they're medium. Medium. So. Okay. I'm not worried about your carry weight. I'm I'm just worried about the 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 uh, logistics. If that's what you're looking at. Like I said, man, I'm just fucking like. Yeah, you could. You got two shouldered, and you got uh, your nephew on you as well. He would obviously take more precedent than Seder, so that's why there's only one of. You know, now stacking another Seder on top of him, that would be that's rude. Good. That's good. All right. Uh, yeah, you're not certain if any of these people are alive that you're carrying, but you've got them. <laughs> I'm not certain if I'm alive right now, so it's okay. All right, I will. Uh, you probably haven't. Uh, I'm gonna need. I need to be more decisive. You have ten feet left of movement after this. Okay. Uh, I point at the judge's door, uh, judge's chamber, and I just go, door. <laughs> wow. Well, Art. we all hear that, so I, I see what it. Archie's plan is now. Six goes, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, you make it ten feet closer to the door. Uh, after picking up the satyrs, you're twenty feet away. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm good with that. You know. Osiris. Hi. Roll a death save. Send it to me privately. Okay. I was about to say, do you have the uh, the record of the last one I did? I do. It's a great poker face. <laughs> <laughs> do you see what I rolled last time, Tanner? Yep. And do you see what I rolled this time? Yep. Can I also keep track of these two? Yeah, you should. Yeah, you you should. You should. Yeah, because... you definitely I mean, should. I am. I'm just making sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Does Osiris um, look alive still? Is she breathing? You don't know. Oh, oh it, well, okay. Very show. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Hey, 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 who's the cleric? You will. You I guess. Uh, well, that's what I was asking. Yeah, do a okay. medicine check. I can't. Roll a medicine check turn. for me. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, no, you guys don't get to make fucking decisions. Nat 30. <laughs> I got a nat 30. I'm okay. going to roll for a living. I rolled a live. Yeah. You rolled a good number. Can I okay. get a bonus live, please? Uh, No. I just want to point out, because like I'm, I'm being really dumb with Archie's words here, but like, this was supposed to be not like a conscientious battle rage. This was like literally just snapping in a courtroom because he's sick and tired of all the bullshit. So this is supposed to be way more like animalistic and feral than his normal rage. That's why it's well, just, it was. So I just want to clarify. Yeah, you only said door. <laughs> Great success. success. Okay, uh, one of the guards uh, that was towards the back of the group as other people are starting to move. Um, he's noticed that the people trying to carry Osiris out, um, one of them fell. Uh, he also knows that the guards are uh, coming from that door, so he will go to the main door um, at the entrance to this courtroom section. Uh, so he'll move that way, as will one other. So we got two guards, two of the bailiffs move towards the primary door. Oh, did they, um, they, did they enter, enter within your they enter your threat range, yep. They have to go through you in order to get to the door. Yeah, boy, yeah. All right, so wisdom saving throw on the first. Uh, that is worse than the last one, so he fails. On get the wrecked, second, uh, he passes on die, so. One takes 14, the other takes seven. It's okay. a good spell. It's a good spell. Good spell. It really is. Yep. Uh, they are both now bloodied from that, um, but they are still trying to get to the edge of the door. Since they have gotten close to you, uh, they will go ahead and make attacks on you. Each of them shall do that as they are trying to make through the door. Um, all right, first one. Two swings with his long sword. It's going to be close on one. One misses. The second one is a 15. Doesn't hit, right? Who Are you Are you attacking me, right? I'm attacking okay. you. Yep. I have, an, I have a 17 AC, so no. Okay. Does not hit. All right. The second guard uh, goes for two swings with the long sword as well. Both of those miss. So as they enter your threat range, they uh, they get hurt and are just kind of taken aback by these uh, spells that you have. Both of them do not hit you. All right. To be fair, the- spectral forms of death and truth incarnate started harassing me <laughs> near somebody. I probably would miss trying to hit them too. Yeah. Same. Same. Margbark. 
It's your turn. They just started yelling insults. It was all psychic damage. <laughs> it's my turn. It's your turn. <laughs> I bet none of you know what I'm going to do. I'm I don't just know. Kidding. What, I'm already giving away do? my turn. I'm going to do this exactly. I'm going to blink back into position. I'm going to be 10 feet from where I was closer to the door that I need to go through to be able to find Archie and Six's and Osiris's, I assume, weapon. Weaponry. Weapons. All of our stuff. Just say it's all of the, our stuff. The shit. The stuff. Yeah. You know. Cool. The things. He's going to get the things. I, I, I need my things, please. Okay. Which makes you 20 feet uh, uh, away from the door. 20 feet from the door. So I still have what? 10? Uh, Technically 60 have... if you wanted to sprint in there. Okay. Yeah. We're sprinting. Let's go. Let's All right. Yep. It. Free action to open the door. You book it. How do you open the door? Oh, man. I Can I use my pact magic to summon a purple spectral fist <laughs> to punch this door? An eldritch <laughs> fist. You I can, can summon whatever you weapon can I want, fist. Right? I will let you can eldritch, I eldritch fist, fist the door. this door. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and roll uh, at advantage <laughs> for eldritch fisting the door. Mm-hmm. In stride. Oh, boy, this uh, is a 15. great. Only if you also scream eldritch punch like Captain Falcon. Eldritch punch! Uh, I rolled a 15 on dice. Beautiful. Um, uh, Go ahead and add your, your to hit from your uh, uh, packed weapon. Plus seven. Okay, 22. so it's a 22. Uh, <laughs> I, I punched the shit out of this door with my Eldritch Fist. You do punch the shit out of this door, and even more importantly, you punch it so hard that the barred lock that goes from the door into the wall next to it snaps backwards with the metal bending and falling out. The door slams wide open, and you can see the corridor in front of you. It starts off into a room. Uh, and then you can see it continues on backwards. Um, you don't really know how far it goes because at about uh, 35 feet away from you, it turns left. So if you've, you've used 20 feet of your movement, um, I'll let that be a bonus action that you just did to punch the door because uh, you're doing it with your movement. Um, so you still have your action and 10 feet of movement left. Oh, shit. Do I, like, is there anything in here that might indicate where I would find this stuff so this was the spot that you were held until you were told by the bailiffs to come through um it's kind of the holding space before you're entered into the main chamber uh, the hallway back behind you uh you know goes on for a ways and enters in um so it you're looking back and then it turns off the corner uh and then it enters into a larger hub room um one that goes into the room uh, that Osiris was fucking around on the bookshelves uh, with with our good jailers. So that is one entrance into the room, and there was one other door in there that you don't know where it goes to. Uh, and then another two, sorry, two other doors in there that you don't know where they go to. So there's three total doors in the room that's at the end of this corridor, one of which goes back to the jail cell where you were held. Okay, do I have enough movement to make it to the room where Osiris is fucking around with the bookshelves? So like I said, right now you're 35 feet from where it turns... Um, I would say have 40 left, right? If I'm yeah. If, if you use your sprint, uh, you can get around to the, that sort of crossroads room, um, that has the three doors, one back to the, the holding cell room. Um, and then two others that you don't know where they go to. Okay. All right. Let's think about this. I suspect that it would be unlikely that our items would be in the holding cell room, right? And then within that crossroads room, there are two other doors that are mysteries. Correct. Okay. So the crossroads room is where the bookshelves and everything were that Osiris was fucking around with. That's the So that room leads into, those rooms are connected. They're adjacent. Okay. Let's just go to, to the bookshelf room. Okay. You're going to start to make your way all the way back. Okay. So uh, you use 40 feet of your movement, 35, 5. Um, and you get to the next door that brings you to the crossroads room. So you can just enter the crossroads room here and get a better lay of the land. Um, you're just busting in through it, through that door? Yep. Okay. I'll punch it with my regular hand. All right. Uh, this one just swings <laughs> open. Um, okay, the lock is, is not on here. Uh, so it just swings open. Um, and then you can get a better look at this room, um, which you are pretty familiar with it because you passed by it before. It's pretty Spartan in here. Uh, there's a couple of benches and tables um, where you know that guards could sit, but it is currently unoccupied. And that's what you get. So we will move on. 
Uh, we've got another guard who makes his way towards the door. Six, he enters your range, and he fails. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Uh oh. And that is a total of. Oh, is, is that a se- oh, that's a seven. That's a seventeen damage that that boy Holy takes. Crap. All right. Good spell. Um, I love this spell. I'm going to use it forever and ever. He's now bloodied. If you think about it, like, we're also in a really confined space. Like, this is the perfect place to have that spell, it really too. Is. So it's, it's... All right. He will make two swings at you with his long sword, six. Uh, one of which hits. Uh oh, Skettios. Uh oh, Skettios. I'm going to turn five things. Skettios. Skettios. You take 11 damage. Uh oh, Skettios. I am hurt. I am very hurt. Okay. Uh, you also have to roll a concentration save. Oh, Ooh, yep. you Thank you. Good and call, So Bruce. you have to beat that oh, damage. That's a seven. The spell <laughs> is down. Oh, Uh-oh. no. No. What's your spell no. gone? What's your, uh, you don't have any constitution? I, you don't have a con- like, I do have a plus three, but it doesn't matter. Okay. That's all right. Okay. It was 11 damage, so. I mean, good call, but yeah, just seven on dice plus three still equals 10, which is one less than 11. It's some ouchies. Uh, so the other guards are fucking relieved, and everyone's <gasps> uh, basically just around you. Now we have the, the group uh, remaining. Trit has fallen in his combat with Harin. That leaves Ernajor, Finch, Harin. Uh, so Harin will look around for Chandri Aberlane uh, and see him quivering behind one of the uh, chairs in the gallery. Um, we'll go up and grab him, and he'll shout down to the rest of you. Um, <sighs> He was somewhere, yes. This was Harin. I'll stab the <laughs> fuck out of a child. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He that's your say words that. to get he into Harin say, voice? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I'll stab the fuck out of a child. Because he did. He ran up to the top of the stairs and just stabbed a teenager in the chest he and did. he threw yeah. him down the stairs. So, man. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> yeah, 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 those were grown 16-year-old men. <laughs> um, all right. We need to stick together. Which exit are we taking? Door! Door, okay. We're Judge following Archie. <laughs> uh, Chandri will shout out, we are going to have a conversation when this is done. Uh, and, and Harin will shoulder Chandri and start <laughs> running towards the, <laughs> what a bitch. Towards the, the, the judge's chambers. Um, what all right. I hate Chandri so much. <laughs> uh, At this Finch. point, he's just going to be co- the comically, like comic relief proud person. He's never actually going to stab us in the back. He's just always going to be there to remind us of that one time we almost got him arrested. Yeah, that's why I threw his ass under the bus. I imagine Chandri as Lord Farquaad. That, like, that's what I just imagine him <laughs> as. But he's like, but yeah, no, 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 no. I imagine him just as short. <laughs> just as but short. he's got that same <laughs> shitty haircut. You know? yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Ooh. All right. Okay, Tanner. Can can we make that? Game? Yeah, I don't remember what his description was, but yeah, that'll be that'll be fine. He is uh he he's he's not short, but you look at him and you kind of just think he's short because of his personality. He has yeah. a short he has a short he, personality. He, he's he short, short man short, energy. Short man energy. Yeah. Well, well, that's well. awful for short people. Don't, yeah, yeah. That's, hey, that's really we love cool. short. We we love short kings here. Wait, short what? people got nope. no <laughs> reason. <laughs> What? Have you never heard the, the Randy Newman song? Short people, short, short people, people got, got no reason to live. No reason to live. Is it's not actually a Randy Newman song? No, it no, actually it is. is. Really? Randy Newman song. Need to, you yeah. need to Holy listen to this. Frazier, Frazier specifically played he, he that song it. for me and it, said, "This is for you." <laughs> He, he wow. did it. It's satirical a, yeah, in it's nature. Satirical. Yeah. 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 Okay. D- don't think badly of Randy Newman. Think badly of short people. You got <laughs> okay. Randy me. Um, okay. So now it's it's uh, French, uh, French, French, and Aaron Azure, um, who combine to make French. It's uh, it's one of those DBZ things. Um, no, Aaron Azure. <laughs> yeah, Aaron will see what you've <laughs> done with uh, you're picking up, trying to pick up the satyrs, uh, and he's like. Yeah, man, that's some fuck it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so he'll go in and he'll try and save at least what one. Did he say? <laughs> what? I can't think of anything cool. You know cool. what he said. You he know what he said. He snorted a line of coke oh. before he got into this battle. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> he, he, waves, he waves his fingers in the air and they, t- they fucking twinkle. He picks up one satyr. Um, <laughs> and he starts making his way towards the judge and sh- uh, dungeons. The jun- the dungeon did. The- the judge's chambers. The stroke room. We're Are good. you smelling toast? I'm fine. Toast? 
Yeah, why? The Bond's name. Got okay. Name no, is Bond. He's having yeah, a strong... Carry on. No, we're in this. Call yeah, the yeah, Bondulance. Yeah. All right. Uh, Finch will yell out, I have a few tricks up my sleeve that I can use whenever we're ready, but the plan was not an attack like this. We were ready for some fucking subterfuge, you wild-ass mongrels. <laughs> oh, well, have you met us? <laughs> Sadly, uh, and he'll start making his way towards the judge's chambers, um... He will uh, take something from his pocket. Uh, it's a round, uh, it's a black sphere. Um, and he'll toss it towards you, Six, and say, catch. Uh, so I need you to go ahead and roll that, please. <laughs> okay. What, what is it? Catch is uh, 12 plus. I got a 12 plus, but what is the plus? That, uh, um, it's, it's a little sleight of hand. Ooh, okay. That's a zero, my dude. Zero, okay, 12. Hey, you catch it. Hey. Uh, you kind of fumble it for a second, but you're able to, to manage it. It is this smooth glass-like sphere um, that you can kind of see through, and it's dark because there is swirling smoke inside. I'm really surprised that I caught that. I. It would have been fine if you didn't. Okay. <laughs> would have worked either way. Oh, smash that. Got it. All right. Uh, then we are back up at the top. Hey, 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 real quick. I just mm. remembered something. At the end of each of my turns after I cast Blink, I have to roll a d20 and a 10 or higher. I blink back out of existence. Okay, do you want to you do that? Yep, I do want to do that. Okay, go ahead and roll. A little, little retcon. Uh, I don't this. blink out. All right, we're good. Okay, cool. All right, so at this point, everyone is separated enough. All the guards are going towards the main exit uh, six is there with them. So I'm going to go ahead and say that everyone can move together. Um, that is, uh, except for six. Six will move with the guards. So he'll move after everyone else. Uh, well, everyone's fucking independent at this point. I thought you guys were going to stick together. And this is going to be short and sweet, but it ain't, you fucking weirdos. We did stick together. Everybody except I'm, Marvel. Tanner. I'm you gave me no chance. You gave I, me zero chance. You did 15 I, I, I damage to me you. three times, which is you. the maximum amount die. of my hit points. <laughs> my max hit points is 45. You did 15 damage to me three times. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Don't worry. Hey. I am the DM. You get to listen to me. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Don't worry. Six has a plan. Six has a plan. All right, good. It's your turn. Anytime Will says... I have a plan. The Johnny yeah, says, I get "Don't worry." No, no, no. I okay. Get more First of all, how many of my allies look are down? Let's let's do that. One. Osi Osiris, and how many of the fawns or whatever they're called? The satyrs. Yeah. Uh, four. Th all four of them went down. Okay, but how many are not being taken out of the One. court? One. Okay, perfect. So, I'm gonna use a bonus action. My uh -huh. last level three spell slot. To cast mass healing word 60 feet i want to get Ooh. all of my allies i want to get myself i'm going to get osiris obviously and i'm going to get uh i'm going to get those those uh, that one fawn and then anybody else that looks hurt i want to give them all i can do up to six right hold on let me make sure uh mass healing word is a bonus action it, it is six living creatures so i can do up to six so i'm going to do myself those two, and then three other allies. Uh, Aaron Aaron Azure is a good target, right? He's looked pretty hurt. Yeah. Uh, Elias looked fine, but I'll, I'll give help to Archie, and I can't see. I know I can't see. Uh, you can't reach Mark Mark. Mark. Yeah. So, I'll so give help okay. To Archie. So then, so you give Archie, you Osiris, uh, one fawn, and Aaron Azure, and uh, who, who, who? I guess that's it. I don't see. I That's don't guess. Oh, Reggie. I'll give Reggie some as well to help out okay. the load on um, Archie. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So what's going to happen with this? And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you beforehand is it's, it's anyone that's not heroic isn't going to get back up. So everyone that's down is down. They just won't be potentially dying. Unless they won't they be rolling death saves. That's fine. Yeah. No, yeah. no, that's fine. That's fine. Well, um, I don't roll death saves for NPCs unless they're important. So I mean... We'll assume you were rolling death saves. <laughs> um, I don't know that I can do everything in one turn. Okay, so it's fine. All right, so I do that. Everybody gets 11 hit points back. Three plus eight uh, hit Damn. points. To every, every one of those people has that much. Well, I'll be honest, dude. Like, You may just want to give it to somebody else because I'm not that hurt. It's a, 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 there's nobody else to give it to, so you take it. I wanted to give it to all six. Uh, You're fine. Okay, okay. so here's what yeah. happens. 
Um, because this is a mass healing word, you're not touching anyone. Uh, any of the people that aren't, you know, if they if they don't get up now, you still don't know whether or not they're still alive. Okay. Um, Osiris, you regain consciousness. Uh, what it ha- is happening though is that you are still pretty grappled. Not pretty, fully, actually 100% grappled by one of these guards um, who is trying to drag you out. The Everyone else that you named, Will, you, you believe they get health points, but you don't see anyone else stir from consciousness. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then Six is going to, seeing that Osiris is still being grappled by a guy. Um, is going to say, hey, uh, watch, catch this and throw the smoke bomb directly in his face. Okay. Uh, this is an aimed attack. Uh, so instead of smashing it, you throw it at his face. Go ahead and roll and throw it at his face. Oh, wait, shit. <laughs> this is the top of the turn order. I have forgotten one thing. Ten guards bust through the door up front. No. Oh, well, then I throw the smoke. I throw the I throw the thing at them. I don't care where it hits them. I'm going to throw it at their at their bodies. The biggest okay. part of them. OK. <laughs> Question about my health. Am I at 11 HP or am I at one? At 11. 11. OK, great. Awesome. So she's up now. I'm up. She's up, but grappled. So do I do I have to make a, an attack roll to throw it at them? No, I mean, you just throw it at the door. You're going to hit something. Just, yeah, yeah, just throw, throw it. it. Yeah. Psh. I mean, it's good. It's so, okay. This thing cracks and this sort of tornado, uh, dark tornado starts spiraling from the bottom of it and it starts spewing out this thick smoke uh, and covers the, uh, basically the front half or the back half, whichever way you're looking at it, the uh, main hallway door half of this courtroom. It engulfs everyone. This is a magical darkness. No one in here can see unless they have an ability to see in magical darkness. Oh, and with my movement, I'm going to grab Osiris. You are going to attempt to find her based on where you thought no, she no, was. No, no, no. I would have I, I would have thrown it and used my movement to get on top of her so that they cannot take her away. Okay. It. I mean, I'm still going to make you roll because it is difficult. You threw it first. It hits and everyone's moving at the same time. So it's not like you make a... You're still going to roll. Go ahead and roll to see if you can get... I mean, it's just a grapple check, so you're going to dive basically where you think they are. So go ahead and see if you can wrestle Osiris from this guard. It'll be a uh, contested strength roll for athletics. Okay. Okay. Well, that's uh, 9 plus 2, 11. Okay. Um, All right. You do reach her, uh, and you start trying to wrestle her away from this other guy uh, during this commotion. Um, Because you're expecting this, uh, go ahead and roll at advantage. Give me another roll. Okay, 14 plus 2, that's a 16. All right, you are unable to pull her away from this other guard. Uh, and this whole area is uh, surrounded in smoke. Okay. Okay. All right, but uh, you are up now, Osiris. Um, Archie, it is your turn. Uh, Osiris, you move at the same time. So uh, what are you guys doing? Is there anybody to hand my uh, my, my bodies to? <laughs> um... So Harin is basically down about where you are. Uh, you could probably hand off a satyr uh, to split the load. Oh, I was going to hand my bodies off and then proceed to leap into the darkness and try to find this guard. Oh, uh, Harin will not be able to carry four people. So the only people who are near the door are me and Harin. Yeah, you guys are near the judge's door. Okay. Who is there anybody around me? Not really. Okay, well, I know I, can, I, I have the knowledge that I can I move at a supernatural speed, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to reference Reggie to <laughs> R and, and Mime. Carry him away, please. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, I'll, I'll give that you can hand Reggie off. So he takes okay. him over the other shoulder. I'll set the satyrs down, and I want to try to use my... Um, use my sense of um because it's magical darkness just affects vision right so i should be able to use sense mm-hmm. of hearing and smell right yeah so uh i will you just use intuition because it's still like kind of 
Or do you want me to use something else? You know the, the direction they're in because it's only currently covering half the room. And if you think about where it's spreading from, you can pinpoint where about the, the smoke bomb was thrown. Um, so you can start making your way back there in order to find who you're looking for. I mean, smell is going to be your best bet. Um, so I will give you advantage on finding them. And that will just be a, a kind of a bonus action. Okay, cool. I'll roll it then. I'm probably not going to need... Yeah, okay. 17 on the dice, so... Oh, yeah. You're able to pinpoint uh, the smell of blood and six. Yeah, well, I just kind of want to land. Can I Can I just land on that guard? Oh, um, so this will be more of an aim thing. So you'll know where he is in order to kind of make it a full-on attack type deal. Um, yeah, yeah, you do it. You can pinpoint, uh, you know, about where those sort of locations are. So you jump through it. You break through the smoke and uh, the wisps kind of trail behind you as you make your way in um, and you collide directly with this guard. Okay. Uh, and honestly, if, if I know that's, that was a lot to do. So if you just want to, he doesn't have to take damage. I just want to get him off of her. Yeah. So this will be a tackle. It'll just be a um, uh, strength contest. And because he's not expecting you, he'll roll at dis, uh, disadvantage. So roll that okay. athletics. 25. Oh, yeah. All right. Boom. Uh, you crash into him, but you now notice that when you push him back, he uh, falls into more people behind him. And now you can smell uh, the unsheathing of steel as they all pull their swords out. Um, you can't see them. You know they can't see you. But Osiris, you are no longer held. Yay. Yay. All right. Cool. It's good because now it's your turn. You should probably run. There is a lot of... Okay, to 10 guys just burst through the door. Fuck these guys. Um, I'm in a bunch of smoke, right? Yeah. I want out. I don't know where to go, though, but I want out. When Archie dove through, you couldn't tell it was him, but you kind of saw a parting in the smoke uh, from the direction that he came, where the light was coming from. And then it quickly sealed up. So you have a basic direction. Okay, I'm going to go through that then, because... All right. Uh, no one's going to get an opportunity attack because A, they can't see you, and B, the only person that knew exactly where you were has been tackled by Archie. Um, so you make it out of the smoke. You do pretty quickly. It has a, uh, as you could tell now, uh, only extends 15 feet uh, from where it was thrown. Um, so you make your way out of that and are able to see the rest of the courtroom. You can see over towards the left uh, where Harren is, uh, who is now set down um, Chandri, because he is not passed out and can run on his own, and he's carrying the satyr and Reggie. Uh, you drop the other two satyrs, right, Archie? Yeah. Yes. So he picks up one more. He's basically carried capacity that was equal to yours, so one satyr is remaining on the ground. Harren is? Harren, yes. What a, what a guy. Love that man. Um, I'm at a loss on what to do, because I, if I do anything, I'll probably just die again. Okay, so where are the bad guys currently? Are all the bad guys in the smoke? Are there any left, like, here in front of me? No, all of them have moved towards the smoke. Or died. So I can't even see them. Correct. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah. Fleeing is always an option, just to clarify. (laughs) So I can't obviously go out the main entrance. I don't want to go to the, 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 what's his guy's cabins? Judges chambers. Judges, Judges Chambers. Chambers. The what's this guy's guy cabin? Cabins. Are there any other exits? Where did Mark Bark go? Where, where did that guy go out of? Uh, you Mark see Bart the door went to find the, right. the weapons. Yeah, yeah, you see the door on the right is busted as fuck. Oh, right. Yeah, the completely it, destroyed door. He went that way. Has a I'm charred gonna, fist mark in it. I'm going to beeline it straight for that. Oh, she's going the with Mark Bark. Door? Toward where Mark Bark is. She's going to Mark Bark. Okay. Hell going yeah. Going to Mark Bark. I like Great. this. Um, yeah, you use all of your movement uh, at this point. What is your movement speed? Is it 30, 25? 25. 25. Okay. Um, yeah, you're able to get uh, over towards the corridor using a sprint. Um, you'll make your way down the same hall uh, as soon as you can. Because um, I think depending on how Archie and Six do this next round of combat, uh, we might be out of this. Um, and then we can kind of figure out how you guys are split. We will um, move on to the two guards that are pretty freaking damaged that we're trying to get out. Uh, they're just going to... I'm going to roll for them to see... Oof! One of them falls. And Yay. the other also doesn't make his way out of the smoke. But you guys don't know what happens to him. Um, so that's the end of that turn. Mark Bark. 
Uh, you continue on down the corridor unless there's something else you want to do. Nope. Yeah, I'm continuing on. I got to find the stuff. Okay, you're going back into the the jail cell, uh, the in the direction of the jail cell where you guys were held. Or are you going to try one of the other two doors? I want to try one of the other two doors. Okay. Um, so both of these doors are just mystery doors, right? Correct. Uh, so what is going to happen? Um, you're going to try both doors. Uh, they are. You could end up trying both of them. It just kind of depends on, um, you know, which one you test first will allow you to do either more or less in in that room if it's what you're looking for. Uh, So we got two doors on two separate walls, right or left? Uh, Left. Okay. You bust through the left wall, left left door. You Kool-Aid man your way through the wall. Cool. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> you macho man, Randy Savage, Kool Aid man, <laughs> through the, the, the wall. Um, no, you uh, you make your way um, and open this other door. Uh, it or attempt to open this door. It is locked as well. Okay, I try the door on the right. All right, that one is unlocked. Uh, it is a corridor, and down at the end of this corridor, you can see that there are there's a door. And on either side of this door on the two walls are two windows, barred windows. Uh, so no glass that you could slip out of, but you can tell it's sunlight on the outside. So the assumption that you could make is this is potentially uh, a door or a, a hallway that uh, has exterior walls. So it's just a hallway with two windows. And a door That's at the it. end. And a door at the end. Okay. Correct. Um. Well, shit, the other door is locked. I guess we're going to go for that door. Okay. Uh, this this door at the end of the hallway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go for it. All right. We'll see what's... You're able to make your way there. Um, you know, as, like I said, these windows that are barred here are, you can see out of them. So if you'd like to take a peek at anything, you can. Yeah. Before we open the door, let's look out of one of the windows and see what we got. Left or right? Left. Left. You look back over to the left and you can see that um, it's basically the wall of a uh, round room on the outside. It does have also barred windows. Uh, From this vantage point, you can see... Well, actually, roll perception for me. Uh, 14. You can see two guards moving in there, um, both watching the door uh, from this side. Um, And you can make the assumption based on the orientation of where you are that that door... Uh, led into the other was the other from that room that you were just in. Um, you do also get a glimpse of a few chests in there as well as some weapons lining the wall. Wait, hold on. So that, how do I get there? <laughs> what, what is it? You can make the assumption that that was the other door in the last room. The one that was locked that, that I was couldn't locked. get into. Correct. So I okay, I can see basically into that room or what I think is that room. Yes. So if I open the door at the end of this hallway, can I make my way over there? You if don't this see door an, is open. You don't see an entrance. Uh, like this doesn't seem to connect to the other side. You don't see. You just see out into the city from here, between the two. So if I open this door, it's a direct exit. Maybe. All right, let's go back to the locked door, and I'm just going to try to Eldritch Blast my way through it. Okay. Yeah, for the for the sake of, of kind of streamlining this, you're able to get back to the other door, and you're going to Eldritch Punch it. So go ahead and roll it. I was going to Eldritch Blast it. Oh, you're going to Eldritch Blast it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Eldritch Blast. Because I get that two locks. of those beams. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> go ahead. Um, roll to hit. It's an advantage because it's a still lock, but you're trying to aim directly at it. A 17 plus 7 for the first one. Yep, that'll hit. 13 plus 7 for the second one. That'll hit two. So go and roll those. Do I need to roll damage for these doors? Yes, please. Doors are no match for this party. <laughs> <laughs> doors stand zero door. chance. Except for Kef Motz's door. Sorry, that's 2d10 plus 4. Uh, it's a 6 plus 4 is 10. Oh, I dropped it. Didn't count. And a 5 plus 4 is 9. You shoot uh, two Eldritch Blasts at it. The first one splashes against it and makes the wood around it splinter. The second one sends it flying through to the other side. Uh, Smoke clears and you're able to see the guards from this side as well as the door kind of eeks open. Uh, they are Can ready Osiris hear this commotion coming from down the hall where she's running? For sure. For sure. Okay. All right. Uh, now we will move on. Oh, I need to roll a d20 to see if I blink out of existence again. Do it. 
That would be dope as uh, hell. I do. That's a 19. Hell yeah. So the minute you blow this lock up, boop, you're out and they don't see anyone there. Very nice. nice. All right. <laughs> Wait, they? So there's someone in this room. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you said you saw there. two people. Remember? From oh, oh okay. All right. Yeah, yeah you yeah. did say that. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Um... Aaron Azure uh, making his way to the judges' chambers. He will come up to that door with Harren, um, realized uh, realize that it is locked, and everyone in this room hears dunk dunk, uh, and the door opens, uh, and he makes his way in. Man, use knock. If you didn't get that, yeah, yeah, you I got it. it. Um, at this point, all of these guards kind of meet up. They'll all have the kind of same turn as this moving swarm. Uh, Finch and Harren both going through uh, the door to the judges' chambers. Um, so now we are back up to six. Six. Uh, you can feel that you're getting swarmed. You are aware that Archie is in here um, and that Osiris is up uh, and that there is a commotion right next to you. I mean, you would have felt the guy get knocked over um, and would hear the growling from Archie. So what do you do? Okay. So in order to create more confusion... Uh, first of all, he says, Archie, I'm running. And then he casts silence in a uh, 20, foot co- 20 foot thing around me. So they can't hear shit. Uh, no way to communicate. And that's why I said, Archie, I'm running before I cast it. I'm making sure you heard that I did that before. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to cast uh, silence. And it's a 20 foot thing. I'm centered at my point, And I'm going to take off running out the smoke. And Hell s- yeah. And- Head towards the judge's door, which is what I told everybody. I think I would still have orientation. You know, I know which way is back. I'll let right? it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You just you just move away from the commotion that you can you could hear, and yeah, you yeah. just no, go in that opposite direction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So All right. I might I, I, I didn't want to inhibit Archie too much, but I figured this would be pretty good for getting them you know the fuck out of there. Are you yep. kidding? So you start making com- thoroughly confused. You start making your way over to the judges' chambers because that was an action. You can only use your regular movement speed of thirty feet and get pretty close to the door, but you're not quite there. Yeah, for the first time in a long time, I am almost completely out of spell slots. Damn. All right. Uh, then. So wait, Archie. Wait, uh, do I see the fawn laying there? Yeah, you see the last fawn laying there. You can you can make an attempt or you can pick him up on your way out. Okay. You haven't gotten there yet, though. Okay, gotcha. All right, Archie and Osiris. Uh, Osiris, you felt. Oh, you already moved out. That's right. So you um, see, you, you see Osiris on your way out. Six. Oh, I see. She's going in the other door. Shit. Yep, you can see she's going in the other door. Okay. Still doing the same play. Uh, I'm, I'm running. I, oh, I can't get there anyway. So I'll decide next time. Go ahead. Okay. Cool. Okay, Archie, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna run. Okay, running towards judges' chambers or towards. Yeah. Okay, judges' chambers. Yeah. Uh, so you use your full movement speed, which is a fucking lot. What is it? 90 feet? 40. Not 45, uh, 70 feet. I have 40. So okay, I so 80. 80. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. 80. Oh, yeah. yeah and like, the, like he's like going between like fucking track star and an animalist. Like he's just alternating. <laughs> you guys remember that, that scene from, uh, it might have been Pet Detective 2 or 1 or 2. Oh, I, was thinking, I was thinking Glass when... Uh, the oh, dude who has yeah, multiple yeah, he split. starts freaking like running and then he just the yeah. beast yeah here's how here's how i imagine it says archie's directly after six's turn i imagine six says archie i'm running i cast silence gets halfway out the bubble and then just sees a, a, a pillar of smoke <laughs> behind archie just <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well i guess you heard me like roadrunner <laughs> yeah me, yeah, me. Like, sounds like as I go by, NASCAR I go, race. Me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, Archie, you're able to make it into that back room. Um, you can see that there's a door open on the far side. In here is uh, a lot of bookshelves with well-used books. There is a desk over on the uh, back right, um, but there is no one in here. Uh, there's a bunch of fancy shit, but you don't pay it any mind, I imagine. No, all I was gonna if if there's a desk, I was gonna shut the door and fucking mount the desk in front of it. But. Okay, yeah, you can prepare. Um, you get all the way back there, you move behind the desk, and you can prepare to to barricade that door. Uh, one once everyone gets in. Okay, cool, cool, good deal. All right, uh, I want to clarify: everyone does not include the guards. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> uh, uh, Osiris, you're just continuing to run towards the um, the judges' chambers. Yeah, I mean if. I also would like to find the items that are belonging to oh, right. me. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that book is important to you, right? Well, not only that, but the uh, the starlight. 
the lantern, yeah, whatever. I didn't know what to call it. Wait, do it. you have your didgeridoo, or is it with No, your I don't have, yes, that you have any oh, of that I shit. have my book. Well, bear in mind, you heard my Eldritch Blast that just blew this door open. I'm going to be Eldritch heading my way that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Yeah, so I have my book, but I need my didgeridoo, and I need that that lantern because I got to figure out what the book that does. Okay. She turns into an octopus and starts running because, you know, because oh, yeah, they have eight legs. Yeah, yeah, right? They can run. You know what? Faster. Like, yeah, kind of sure. propel my way, like, uh, throw one it leg like and this. then the next and the next. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, so you can you can sprint uh, to make it into this back room. You see in front of these doors, and you make eye contact with the two guards that are in there behind it. It's confusing Wait. as shit. She's like, where's fucking... Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, have you seen a, a purple man? Hi. Am I here? <laughs> oh. You know what? Okay. One of them, one of them goes, yes. Yes. Wait. Yes. They just look very confused at this point. <laughs> They're looking around. So, I mean, you have a, you potentially have an opportunity here. Ch- Wait, where, can you point? Can you point where he went? They both Spider-Man point that meme where it's like three of them trying to point in the same direction, but they're pointing. They're just pointing at. And then Mark Bark appears and he's pointing at both of them. Uh, yeah, they they don't know. Uh, they're they're kind of shocked. Um, so think very carefully of what you say next, because this will. I mean, it's going to be quick and in the end of your turn. So you. Well, I, I've casted my movement, but I have not done an action yet. You did. You you have to use your action in order to sprint. So in order to get yeah, here, so you, you had to use your action. Yeah. Um, you, I'm, I'm giving you the opportunity to say something to them because they are very concentrated on their confusion. Well, if you don't want to die, you might want to tell me where our stuff is, please. Oh, you threatened them. Okay. <laughs> All right. They just saw this man disappear. You've run down. They locked this up because they heard the commotion from the other side. Uh, I will give you intimidation at advantage um, and they'll roll against you. Because you're also covered in blood. I rolled a 12. At advantage? Plus. That was at advantage? Yes. The other one was a three. So. Okay. Uh, they ready themselves uh, to attack you. Okay. I don't know if I outed order this shit, but this is how this works out. Mark Bark appears between you and the other two guards. Save me, Mark Bark. Wait, are you starting my turn now? Oh yeah, it is your turn. I can't tell where you, I can't tell you where you're going to spawn. Sorry, Mark Bark, it's your turn. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to pop back into existence between Osiris and the two oh, guards. Okay. Surprise attack. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Great. Boom. Oh my god, they are fucking Boom. shocked. This is incredible. And I roll uh, Eldritch Blast, two beams. I'm gonna blow these suckers away. Don't touch my friend! <laughs> At advantage, because it's surprising. Yep. Okay. Oh, good. That was a one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'll give you a 18, surprise touch. 18 plus 7. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you just aiming at one of them, or are you aiming... I'm splitting two beams. Another 18 plus 7. Oh, okay. shit. Both of those hit. And a, ooh, a 10 plus 4 on the first one. And that's a shame. Okay. And a 2 plus 4 on the second one. Okay. So six, got it. Um, the first one, so bloodied. Uh, he kind of stumbles as he hits and tries to steady himself um, and is shaking as he's holding his, his sword there. Uh, so much so, so we'll just add them into the uh, into the encounter right here. Um, he's shaking so much that he drops his sword and begins backing away to the wall uh, with his hands Can up. Can he pee himself? Um, I'll roll for pee himself. Below, a, uh, below 10 or below? Uh- Tenor. If he rolled, yeah, 10 or below, he, he pees himself. Well, no, I'll do a DC. So to pee himself, DC DC 12. He has to roll higher than 12. <laughs> okay, okay. He did it. He didn't. He rolled a three. He pees himself. <laughs> he pee peed. <laughs> he pee peed himself. Oh, poor guy. Pee peed. Archie smells it. Pee pee pants. Oh, God. <laughs> Archie knows where Archie's they are like, now. Ooh, that's actually piss. really good so he can find us. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and the other one, uh, his resolve is a little shaken, but he still holds his sword. I was like, what are, what are you doing? Pick, pick your sword back up, man. Pick, you got to pick your sword back up. Uh, and he will uh, run towards you, Mark Bark, and try to make a swing with his longsword. 
These are some really brave, like, just town guardsmen. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, pin- they're pinned here. You don't notice any other door in this room. Um, yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm going to roll for his resolve first. Damn, he is resolved. All right, yeah, he runs through. <laughs> That's a resolve. This is the guard right that there. takes revenge on us. He follows us to the ends of the Yes, earth yeah, 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 yeah. You made he my rushes. friend Pee Pee himself. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he rushes you, and as he does, you can see a name tag on his shirt, and it says Darius. Darius, no. Darius. <laughs> All right. Beloved character Darius. <laughs> Darius. Now you does. have to kill him, Mark Bard, because he can't come back later stronger. You have to kill him. No, character development. Darius does two swings at you. The first misses, the second hits uh, with his long sword. Fucking Darius. Fan favorite Darius. Uh, right. You take seven slashing damage. Ouch. From Darius. It's Darius. It's not, it's Darius. <laughs> okay, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Wrathful Smite. My next melee weapon hit will 1d6 psychic damage. Cool. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So then we will uh, move on to um, all of our beautiful, beautiful side characters uh, who make it into the judge's chamber with you, Archie. Uh, they can see the door on the backside. They see you behind the desk. Um, Haran actually hands uh, some of the people off that he has to the others. He forces a a, a satyr into uh, Chandri's arms and Chandri's like, the fuck do I do with this? Um, And he gives uh, Aaron uh, Reggie um, and sets the other fawn down, preparing to pick him up whenever he can. But he comes behind the desk with you and prepares to push this massive thing uh, at the door, realizing what you're trying to do. Um, Elias Finch Uh, makes it to the back of the room, tries the door, realizes it's locked, and pulls out his thieves' tools and begins trying to pick the lock. Uh, Very successfully. Lock picks are for losers. Wow. Why don't you just Eldritch Blast the door open, dude? (laughs) Yep. He's first got to make a a deal, but he uh, hasn't done that, that you know of. All right. Uh, The door clicks open. Back to the top. Six. You are making your way towards the judges' chambers. Or the other door. I, you, you decided that you might do something different. Have they not started? Uh, have they not started closing the door off? They were waiting until people were in. Okay, I will grab the fawn and run in. Okay, you grab the last fawn out here, uh, and you run into the door. Um, Archie, uh, you and Haran see this uh, and begin pushing the door forward. Uh, it will take your action from both of you uh, in order to do this. This thing is massive, uh, but I'm not going to make you roll a strength check because it's, just, it's a desk. What if I got a 23? You, 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 um, your muscles ripple. Do I get to do I get to change it into a interact with an item? <laughs> you know, sh- yes. You, this can be a oh, cool. B- b- uh, you, I mean, you rage so hard, you just kind of vomp, and it actually scoots it across the floor. Real cool guy style. Cool. All right, it slams up against the door, uh, slamming it shut as uh, after six gets in here. Um, and then you realize it opens outward. <laughs> <laughs> no, it opened inward. Okay. Okay, so is Elias just over there trying to pick the lock? Yeah, he's 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 been successful at it. He's working. Oh, okay, all right, cool. Yeah. It's uh, it's already done, and it, I mean, he, has, he just hasn't opened the door yet. He looks over to you, he says, it's unlocked. Ah, I punch it the door that's okay uh it opens inward this one so uh, uh yeah you you punch it it's unlocked it's it's just it's more open now yeah, you good job <laughs> and at that point when you punch it you hear on the other side of the door dun, dun, bang, bing, bang, 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 dun, dun, as the guards uh start banging on the door from this side um all right you all are together we are kind of out of combat except for osiris and uh margbark um so the the deal that we're going to do is I'll give everyone in here in this judge's chamber room uh, a moment to try and figure out what you want to do. And then we will switch the scene over to the others. Hello, everyone. This is take number 10 for the midpoint section. Thank you so much for being here and enjoying the first half of the episode. I know it seems like we kind of throw these off the cuff and we do. There's no plan for the midpoint section, 
But um, this one, this one in particular is just it's been a, a cavalcade of absolute hot garbage. So um, we're going to go ahead and get to the point and get you back into the episode because it's super long anyway. Will, what are our social media accounts? Well, Tanner, they can find us on X, TikTok, and YouTube at Another Realm, and on Instagram at, at Another Realm Podcast. Fantastically done, Will. That was the first try, right? Yeah, why, yes, Tanner, that was my first try. This whole thing has been a first try. We're really good at midpoints. <laughs> We're really good at midpoints. Hey, why don't we go ahead and get out of here by saying what date the next episode comes out on? Well, Tanner, this is for sure the first try at this as well. It comes out on September the 25th of this year. I looked it up before we did this. Mm, yeah. <laughs> a really good job, Will. I'm thankful that you are here with me and I'm here with you. I'm thankful for any of our audience that actually sticks around and listens to these because they are, uh, you know, something that we try real hard at. We're, we're super good at them, too. Very good. Um, hey, enjoy the rest of the episode. Thanks for being here. Shit happens. Mark Bark and Osiris. Um, you guys, uh, you guys have first move against these guys. One has surrendered uh, and is back against the wall. And Darius here is prepared. What do you do? That uh, me first, me first. Motherfucker. You go, go. I'm going to just uh, cast Ice Knife because I really enjoy uh, that spell a lot. So I have to make a Pretty hit. Good spell. Why are you making that face? Did you get killed, Darius? Uh, Kill is him. he the one that, is Darius the, Darius the one that peed himself? No. Oh, yeah, I don't That's care about the, the guy that peed himself. I, yeah, I want to kill Darius. Yeah, fuck that guy. Um, so I'm just going to roll the hit. Uh, so 11, um, my proficiency bonus is plus three. My wisdom modifier is plus three. So that's uh, 17 total. That will that will not hit Darius. No, it'll hit him. That will not hit it'll, Darius? It'll hit him. Oh, jeez. Okay, Come I was about to say, who the fuck is this guy? His AC okay. goes up every time he says a word. Right, Hi, I need a <laughs> I'm Darius. Shut the fuck up. His AC okay. is 30 all of a sudden. So he takes four piercing damage. Now, second part to that spell is uh, is the pee pants guy within five feet of the of him. Um, no, he would have backed away uh, to the okay. fifteen foot mark. So, uh, whether it hits or misses, the shard then explodes. So he takes four piercing damage from the actual initial throw, and now he takes two d six cold damage. Where's my six dice? There, there. This is like one of the only times that I'm hoping you roll poorly so that Darius... Well, uh, he takes three damage, so seven total damage. On top... Of, three on top of what you already did, not another seven. Yes, so three plus four. Yeah. Okay. Darius uh, is not looking good. I mean, he's very handsome. Good. He's very handsome, but he's <laughs> bloodied. And what, what handsome Darius does is he... Uh, he looks at both of you and he drops his sword and he says, I I know when I've been beaten. <laughs> Please. Kill him. Mark, Mark Bark, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to hold out a spectral longsword toward his throat and say, you have one chance to tell us where our gear is or your life ends here now. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, and he points uh, over to a chest in the corner. Osiris, retrieve it. I hobble my way over there. Okay. I keep holding the long sword at his throat. All right. Uh, you pop open the chest. Inside, you find everything except the stone that they removed from Six's head. Which nobody would really know that that's a thing, necessarily. Like, the people here. Scientists might. Yeah, yeah the guards yeah. would. No, no, but the, but none of our party would know. Six wouldn't. Right. Oh, six would know. Mark I think Bark I, would. We find everything except the stone they removed from Six's head. Oh, yeah. You guys wouldn't know that that's a thing. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. You find everything that you expect to find. Which includes? Your stuff. So, like, Archie's axe is in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Between yeah, the chest Six's and the mace. Air, yeah. Like, yeah. The hand crossbow. All the stuff. All the stuff. Bag of holding is gone, right? I'm still holding. Uh, well, yeah, is the bag of holding in there? Yes, the bag of holding would still be in there. <gasps> oh no, wait, because that you turned that out. No, uh, they they never. Mm -mm, that was never turned in. 
Is the never mind. The Chablis is not in there. The no, Chablis 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 got broke. Broke. Chablis 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 broke. Chablis broke. broke as hell. At least yeah, you tasted it. it. Broke as hell. Didn't I give you inspiration for tasting it? Yeah, yeah, you did okay. actually. I, I forgot about it. it. <laughs> I grabbed my didgeridoo. Uh, yeah, you grab your didgeridoo. It's actually just leaning up against the wall. And the uh, and the uh, lantern. The lantern. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You can you can say you grab most of uh, your stuff. It's going to be difficult to carry this out. Uh, the easiest way might just be to you know the carry the chest that it's in or find some other way to do it. Uh, there are other chests in here that are uh, potentially filled with stuff. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Let's open the rest of them and see what else is in there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, pirate. You're gonna take the time. If to- I, well, if I if I take my sword away from this guy, he's not gonna try and attack us at this point, right? You, you won't know you don't that. Know. It's Darius. <laughs> you should definitely kill him. Mark Bark, at this point, we cannot have any witnesses. <laughs> God. She's <laughs> learning. <laughs> I appreciate all... your help, Darius. And I attack with gl- Green Flame Blade, which is a melee weapon attack. If hit, 1d8 fire damage plus another 1d8 uh, fire damage to a creature within five feet of it. Roll at advantage because he's given up. He doesn't have a defensive weapon and he's not prepared to defend. He's trying to... 17. Uh, yeah. And I also cast Wrathful Smite last time so I get an extra 1d6 of psychic damage. (laughs) You really only have to do two damage, so that's... So yeah, I I kill both of them. Oh, you you kill both both of them? Yeah, one of them, the, the, the green flame blade does an extra... Hold on, let me, let me read Our it. party sure is right. terrible. Um, so basically, I do my spell casting modifier worth of damage to another creature within five feet of the creature I'm attacking. He's not within five feet. I said it before. He's oh, 15 feet away. Shit. Okay, well, I at least killed Darius. You killed Darius. Fuck yep, Darius, and anyway. Leave the other guy. All right. Uh, he's, he's just over there in the corner with his piss pants. He's not doing anything. You I will leave him. You, you hibachi style Darius with a green flame oh, blade. God. Um, he falls. That's the second person that has been immolated terribly in this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> he falls to the ground and um, doesn't say anything impressive as he goes. It's just kind of s- sad. Uh, <laughs> Stop! Don't, don't do this, Terry. Don't do this. Kind of sad. <laughs> Uh, you see, you see, as he falls to the ground, his wallet falls out and it opens up to where he keeps his photos, and he's got like a family no. of three: <laughs> no. a wife and a son Tanner, and a daughter, stop. all about very Tanner, small, stop. very precious. Stop. stop! Oh my god! Yeah, pee pants. The the extra the extra d seven or the extra seven damage of fire damage leaps to the wallet and incinerates it, burns it. Uh, you you can see that the guy that peed his pants looked down at the, at the photo as he done it. And he goes. Oh, that was just a stock photo that came with the wallet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we searched the other chests in here. Okay. Now, Darius guy was a fucking loser. All right. Um, go ahead and give me a 1d20 roll, um, and I will let you know what you find. You roll well, you might get something good. Uh, as you're going through it, it's all kind of what people would use to commit basic cr- what you get it's a natural 20 <laughs> you search finally this- your boy gets some good roll oh my <laughs> you f- god you find a bag of holding <laughs> Please shut the fuck up because as you're searching through this uh, you do find a this this uh wait no 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 wait 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 do um, i also get to loot said chest yeah, you could you can roll two, Osiris. Give me one roll. Yeah, let's go. Roll. A fourteen. A fourteen. Okay, Mark Bark, you find this old, worn down backpack uh, that has a central pouch and two side pouches, uh, and you uh, you could you look inside and you can see that it's there's nothing in it and that it looks like extra dimensional space down in there. <laughs> Um, you got a backpack of holding. Give, give me, <laughs> very nice. Give me an arcana roll. Can it be a Jan sport? Give me a okay. oh Jesus. Yeah, no, it's got to be in world. So if you want to name something that's really close to Jan sport, it's Jan sport. Is yeah, it's Jan no. sport spelled J A N S P O R T. It's spelled exactly the same. <laughs> Actually, it's a spell spell bean. Oh, very nice. Uh, that is uh, my arcana check is a seven minus one. Not good. You don't really know what this is. Um... 
but it is uh, it it does a lot of the same. But it looks shit. snazzy. It looks snazzy. It does it actually doesn't. It I looks reach really my shitty. Arm down in it and say Shabli, and I pull out nothing. Uh, what it you, was worth a actually, try. Actually, what you pull out is a chamois towel. I use it to wipe Osiris's blood off her face. Okay, nice. Thank you. Oh, it's what good. do I find? What do I find? All right. What you find, um, you find 250 eider, and the only other thing of note is a ring of keys that have four keys on them. Okay. They look very interesting and ornate. Oh, can I do a uh, check on them? Uh, Arcana, possibly? Go ahead. Are they magical? Yeah, I mean, are they no, magical? Well, actually, you'd have to do detect magic to see if they were magical. Okay. Well, can I just check anyway for fun? To what, roll arcana? What if you intimidate the keys to let them know which they go to? Yeah, no. roll intimidation? No, the the only reason Mark Bark was able to tell anything or be able to roll an arcana is because the 17. thing is clearly magical. The 17, <laughs> you, I, you, uh, you look at it, you're like, man, if I, if, if, <laughs> I, if I could figure out whether or not these were magical, I could maybe figure out if what they did. I attach my lantern and the keys to my belt. You look like a, a fucking space jailer. <laughs> Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's okay, perfect. All right. You guys have your stuff. Uh, Mark Bark, I had just assuming that you're going to put all your stuff into the the backpack. backpack of I'm going to just, just I, this thing, I don't know what it is. I'm going to just see if all my stuff fits. Oh, my God. Look at that. It fits. This must be a bag of holding. It, Holy shit. It's, it's, it's not, but yeah, it must be. Mark Bark, Mark Bark, put the, uh, put the axes in there. I'll put whatever you need in here. And I just start throwing a whole bunch of stuff. I grab like everybody, a chair, put, a couple no, books put, off the shelf. <laughs> no, just put everybody's stuff in there. All right, not... roll, uh, roll for book, I guess. What book? Okay, so the, the book that you find and throw God's in there. God's Deity's Nuts, volume two. God's Deity's Nuts, yes. <laughs> we'll bring that back. Perfect. Mark, Mark, put all, put all of our stuff in there. This first edition, though. I do. Signed. I do. Oh, signed it's first it's signed edition. Cool. Ooh, by the signed author who is deities and these nuts. The, uh, the author who is not uh, my typical author, F. Archer Dream. No, this author is. Um, uh, I see Wiener. It's, it's no, 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 no. <laughs> see more butts. <laughs> no, his, his name is Scro, Scro T. Um. Anita Lay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. You should have done SC Rotom. SC Rotom. That's Rotem. fine. Well, it's okay. That's I better. like that. It's, Actually, it's SC Rotom, but it's spelled W R O T E M, so it's not supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> it's not supposed to be dirty. It's just dumb. Well, okay. Yeah, he he thought it was funny that he wrote a book and he wrote them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, okay, you made it worse. Bad. You made it worse. All right, you have all your stuff. Uh, I just need an indication of what you're going to do next and how you're going to leave, whether or not you're going to leave pee pants in here and if you're going to try and find the exit or you're going to try and go back to the main chamber. Um, at this point, you do hear, you know, the commotion in the other room uh, or coming from the corridor back from where you guys came. So what do... Are there uh, any um, restraints or like, do, do they carry like any kind of... So many manacles. Calls? Manacles we are have manacles, everywhere. Yeah. Oh, manacles okay, I'm gonna manacle You find no manacles every, at all. <laughs> everyone, I'm going to manacle. Everyone who works for the city, doesn't matter what job they have, has manacles. Okay, I'm going to manacle our pee pants guy. <laughs> You're addressing this guy. Okay. I, 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 Mr. Pee Pants, what's your name? You want me to... All right, we'll do another name. Uh, Nolan. Now Nolan has to die too. Nolan, I hate to do this, but you're coming with us. I'm a host. Oh, coming. I'm a host. Coming with us. C- uh, coming with us. I suggest he stay here. Yes. Why don't we just manacle him to something in this room? I was going to suggest to him very intimidatively that he stay here. But now that you found these manacles, let's just chain him up and leave his ass. Leverage, Mark Bark. Leverage. I, I wish. No one wants this guy. He has piss on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's he, he that's could sweat. be useful. I sweat my pants. Um, yes, you are these these the, the bars in these window are very very sturdy. Uh, my man, my manacles uh, they're amazing. They're so well crafted by a, uh, one of the best blacksmiths in Port Wayworth. I I would love to be chained. Chain me, Daddy. I uh, sorry that okay. came out weird. <laughs> Actually, it would be the best thing for us. What's your name, Nolan? Yeah. How about this? Uh Uh-huh. We won't chain you. Okay. And we also won't kill you. Good. If you tell us how to get to the judge's quarters without having to go through the courtroom where all the guards are. Oh. Um, 
Okay, so this, if you, if you leave here, the, the door, one of them goes back into the jail cell where you guys were being held. Um, there are there are two guards down there, uh, the two that were, were, were there before. Um, and then the other door here goes out to uh, 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 an, in, 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 an in and out, like a, a holding facility where they kind of bring people in. And, and they get, so there's a, a few guards there. And if it's during the shift change. An in and out burger. It's, uh, I, slap, I slap Nolan. Ow. Get it together, man. I was telling you exactly quit, everything that I know. Quit stuttering. I do, it, it, Calm down. Really? We won't kill really? you. Really? Calm down. Really? Calm down. Really? <laughs> Calm down. Really? <laughs> Fine. Calm down. Fine. I, can I finish? Now you're going to have to kill him. Do you want me to finish? Calmly. I can't be calm. We won't kill you, but now you're making me really want You to killed <laughs> Darius. I didn't. I did. He killed Darius. Mark Burke, are you going to kill this man? If he doesn't tell us how to get out of here unseen, <laughs> I'm yes, I you will. Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> if you go out the other door, it goes into a place where guards or a lot of them are. It's going to be like five to ten, depending on shift change time, which is sometime. I don't know what time it is. Clocks aren't a thing here. So go out that door if you want to leave here, but you might have to fight some people. Or, better yet, you go back into the main room and you just... I don't know. Okay? That's what I know. If you want to see if anything connects, that guard room comes back to the main courtyard and will attach to the judges' chambers because that's where their carriages bring everyone in. So you can go outside to come back inside. It might still be difficult, but it's a way out. That was hey, very now he's calm. an accomplice, so, you know, he can't rat you guys out. <laughs> Mark, Mark, what do you think? I think he has a pretty good idea. Let's, uh, let's take that route to go outside and back in. We need to avoid these guards. Do you have anything to heal me first? Uh, nope. <laughs> the cleric is gone. Are there any health potions in this area right now? No. Fuck. Hey, Nolan, real quick. What do these keys go to? And I point to the keys on her belt by the lantern. I I don't know. I could look at the book that says what all this stuff is, but I'd have to flip through pages because I don't know which chest you took it out of. I would have to find the listing and the, is, the, is the tag on them? Do they have a tag? Do they have a tag on them? No. Okay. No. No. Then, no. Then it will take me time, and that is, you probably don't want me to have to do that. Yeah, we don't have time. Let's go. Just take the book. <laughs> Where's the book? The book is. Oh my god. The book is Fucking there. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> leave. Leave. We you fuckers right, leave. I, I manacle. I manacle him anyway. All right. You hear marching down the corridor. I chain yeah. him up. Okay. And we run. Yeah. Mark Bark's already out the room. He's, Thank he's leaving. you. I'm into this. Go. <laughs> Bye, pee pants. All right. Uh, you guys start Jesus leaving. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll switch over to the other group. Uh, Elias looks out uh, over to you all, and uh, he looks between Archie and then looks over at Six and says, Is he going to be all right? Oh, uh, no. This has been pretty traumatic on all of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, this door has been expertly lockpicked, and then subsequently punched the fuck open. That's kind of what we do. No, we, I, we I, 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 yes, but I, it was, it was handled. You guys are terrible at all of this. I just want to let you know. Now we're all on a list. Uh, we gotta get out of here. So this way? Uh, yes. Archie gives him a, a very taloned finger and a thumbs up. Uh, well, we do need to meet up with our friends at some point, so the best way is out. Right. So I imagine we're going to run into some people down here. Uh, at this point, Haran pipes up and he says, Yes, and we'll just end them. I, Archie points at Haran and nods. At this point, I agree with Haran. Uh, there's no other way. We've, we've uh, chosen our course of action. Yeah, Chandri at this point uh, says... And at this point, you owe me, and I, we, cause this situation, you guys, I was here for support, and then this happened, I am not, woo, not good. That was a noise. Yeah, that, uh, hmm, I didn't realize you were part horse. Archie starts growling. No, no, bad dog, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I, uh, I really wouldn't, I really wouldn't do that. I, Chandri, you know, 
I my apologies for how the this whole thing has been handled. However, we're here now. Let's figure out how to get out, and we can have a discussion afterwards. I imagine it's this way, you fucking idiot. He points towards the door. It's open. Well, that's not very nice, but you're right. I think it is that way. Let's go. I pick up a fawn or a satyr. I keep calling them fawns. Satyr. Yeah, I mean, fawns and satyrs are pretty close. Um, at this point, you could probably uh, rouse. Uh, there's a spa- there was a space there. It's not. Gross. You could probably wake. You could probably Disgusting. get everyone up. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. Uh, so you can you can attempt to to wake up um, everyone in here. Um, Reggie uh, does come to when you shake him. Um, only one of the fawns uh, wakes up. Um, uh, even though you attempted to some lol, lol. Oh, you, you, you did it. Uh, one of only one of them wakes up. Uh, the other, the others that you pulled in here appear to be dead. Dead. Uh, dead. Whack. Okay. Well. Whack. The satyr is awake. Yes, he is. Uh, and Aaron's over there consoling. He's like, um, man, I know. Like sometimes things can get real difficult, but if they go into that great beyond and they were happy with what they did. Man, you'll see him again, and then you can just get fucking buck wild with it, you know? Like, just like a party down in heaven. It's gonna be so. Like, you can get high on clouds, I heard up there, man. You don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> uh, so, at this point, we've been out of combat for a while, so I'm just gonna kind of assume that I slowly recede back can, and not yeah. feral Archie. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> um, and also, I imagine that the guards are beating on this door for they are still so. beating the door yep uh guys we really should be going i've got to figure out where mark bark and osiris went and hopefully they're okay and hopefully they found our stuff let's get boom i, I take off down the down the hall all right this uh this group begins maneuvering down the hallway um as you leave this one little area it opens up into a larger hallway uh, and you can see uh, each of the doors on the side that you came from um, are marked uh, with judges' names. So it'll say judge and then the name beneath it. Um, so there's quite a few of these, and you can imagine that they go into different uh, different chambers, different judges' chambers, and then into different courtrooms, um, each that these judges preside over. Uh, there seem to be seven of these um, on this one wall. Uh, there are windows on the other side of the wall, and you can see out here. They are all they're all barred here, um, but there are two doors on opposite ends of the hallway uh, from where you are. So one to the far left, one to the right. Um, two unmarked doors. Okay, I got a, I got a new plan real quick. I want to start a fire in the in the judge's office. Okay, the uh, Glam's Felix office. Yeah. Before okay. we leave, how do you do that? I mean, I imagine I have a knowledge of how to start fires with yeah. wood, and there's a I, lot of wood here. I light a torch, and I throw it in his office. Boom. Done. All right. Pl- yeah, right on fine. his desk. Yeah. I, I asked bastard. how you do that so you could give flavor to the scene. Not like... Okay, I'm going to a fart and light my methane fart on fire. Yes. Jesus Christ. Okay. No, we, <laughs> we, we light a torch. We light a torch, throw it in there. Boom. Okay. That's what Archie All right, Archie you throw it... it. You throw it into one of the bookshelves and it begins to ignite. Uh, most of the stuff in here is wood, other than the walls, um, so it'll it'll burn, baby, burn. Yeah. Uh, seems like that's gonna be a raging fire for long. Let's get the fuck out of here. Boop boop boop. And then we cool. then we pass all those judges' rooms that you said. Yep. So there's there are two doors on this hallway uh, that are not marked as judges' rooms. Um, one on either end of of it. Archie, I'll let you pick. Is there any kind of, like, identifying anything to them? Roll perception. Non-natural 20. You can see to the right uh, a few drops of blood, Archie. Dope. Well, that's where we're going. I kicked that bitch in. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you, you run towards this door, and once again, instead of trying handles, you just kick it. Roll to kick the door. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm Wait, sorry. Okay, no, if I'm... you kick it, it's going to be a disadvantage because the only thing you fuckers know how to do is punch it. So don't give me that. If you want to, if you want to, handles are for the weak. If you want to physically assault the door. the door, thank you. You will punch it. Yeah, yeah. He punches it. Then boom, done. Fifteen. Uh, I uh, I help him punch the door. At advantage, oh, Archie. I okay. punch it with him. You both punch it together. Go ahead and roll at advantage. Yeah. 
21. Great. Yes. You both punch this door. It has no handle. It's a swinging <laughs> door. It is easy in and out for accessibility reasons. It's not even latched. There is no handle. You punch it and it swings open easily. Nice. Well, that's why they had to punch it. There was no obvious handle that you <laughs> used. Like, I so. don't know what to do with this. I don't- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys go through the door. Um, as you make your way through here, uh, you can actually see a bunch of civilians in this area. Um, a lot of them are just kind of looking around, very concerned. You can see more drops of blood in this segment. Um, and they look at you and are looking Fire. back. Okay. <laughs> They Run. all start running uh, towards, uh, there's a couple more doors in here. They all go for one particular door and start making their way out that direction. <laughs> it worked. Do they punch the door? They open it like people do. So, of course, they punch the door. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. We follow them out. Yes. A- a- in the crowd. We're going to kind of blend in with the crowd. On or our website to. right now, you can buy the Atorian Door Punchers Club shirt. It's great. Yeah. Were you All about right. to show it to our listening No, I was audience? making sure it actually said, it says Door yeah, Punchers look at this, Guild. Listeners. It's, it's Door Punchers Guild. I got it wrong. I was making sure I got it right. Door Punchers Guild of Vittoria shirt. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you're welcome. It's real fucking comfy. I'm wearing it right now. You all, do you, are you blending? What are you doing? Are you just following these people? Are you blending in with them? Yeah, yeah, it's, we're going to blend in with the crowd. we got to get out. It's fire. Boo. Okay, you all file <laughs> in with these people, and they start moving through hallways. There are actual guards in here ushering people out because they hear fire, and they're dumb. Um, so you, <laughs> they're, just, they're just civil servants. They don't. I'm sorry. If you're a civil servant, you're very intelligent, and I thank you very much if you're doing jobs that I appreciate. But these guys aren't because they're NPCs, they're NPCs, so it's okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, if you're an NPC, sorry, not sorry. Uh, right. So you guys shuffle out with all this. You pass by this guard stand, or you're at this guard stand that's out next to all these doors that apparently lead to some kind of entrance and exit. Um, and uh, the, the the guards there are trying to take note of everybody, and they're asking the other guards what's going on, and they're like, oh, there's a fire. There's a fire, I guess. There's a fire. There's a fire. Someone yelled fire. Who yelled fire? And they're trying to search through the crowd, but there's so many people moving out that you guys slip out with them, and now you are outside. Um, <laughs> can we hear this commotion? Yeah, you can hear a commotion uh, <laughs> outside of the door as you're passing by one of the windows. Um, you are next to the window that's near the door that Mark Bark did not go through last time at the end of the uh, the other hallway. Um, so you're standing in front of this door. This is where you assume Nolan was saying is a is a guardhouse for guards to enter and exit and do shift changes. So this is where you currently are. Um, how do you open it? What do you do to this door? I turned the handle. Uh, you, <laughs> how do you do? You do it aggressively, or do you do it? Do you, no, just, no. I just, I just turned. I've it. never I just punched the door. a door. I would like to punch this door. Oh, <laughs> Osiris, please, if you would, uh, <laughs> please open this door. <laughs> Wait, Ladies newest first. initiate into the Atorian Guild of Door Punchers, please do the honors. Uh, I roll a six. Roll one d four. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> it's like karate when you don't punch it hard enough. I rolled a four. You take four damage. For all of our listeners right now, DM just has his face buried in his hands at shame for for what he has created. You rolled so you rolled you rolled bad. It hurt your hand. It, it, you don't take four damage. That's cruel. It it does hurt your hand. It's a little bruised. I wouldn't suggest punching a door again, or else you might break your fist. I I I punched the door. Okay, it sounds like I'm now a part of the club. It sounds like you knocked on it. Someone on the other side says, "Uh, hello." <laughs> On the outside? On the other side of this door. Which is outside, right? You don't know. You haven't opened the door. I punched it. I can see. It didn't open. <laughs> it didn't oh, open. It didn't you open. Open. you punched it weak as hell. <laughs> uh, Mark, 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 you go first. Uh, good try, initiate. And I just, I turned the door handle. Okay. It opens. Does it open? It opens okay. inside. Right. We open it like normal yeah. humans named Jason. It, You're not a human or a Jason. Inside, uh, <laughs> there are seven guards. Oh, God. Of course there are. One of them goes, the one that you assume talked to you from the other side of the door, he's closest. Um, he's kind of attaching his belt and putting his sheath on his, on his, uh, on his belt. Uh, yeah, what's going on, man? Did they hear the word fire yelled down the hallway? Not from here, apparently. Uh, some of the other guards start to unsheathe their swords. 
Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We're lost. We mean no harm. Please keep your swords uh, in their sheaths. We're just trying to find the exit. We got turned around in the halls coming from a court case down, down the hall here. And um, we'd really like to just find our way out so we can get out of here. We heard a lot of commotion and we'd like to leave. What, uh, what court case are you coming from? The the one where those those guys they uh I don't even know what they did exactly. They were uh traitors to the crown and their 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 heads are lost at this point. We need to go. Oh, that's like that's that's, that's, that's all of them, ain't it, boys? And a couple of guys chuckle. <laughs> yeah, that's all of them. <laughs> yeah, it kind of yeah. is. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm so uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> but you shouldn't be back here without uh, any sort of escort. So um, you're right. We shouldn't. You should go ahead and escort us out, please. We would please. really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. All right, roll deception. Not at advantage, but I do have Come a plus on. what? Hey, he's finally rolling something he's great at, so. <laughs> I have a plus seven to deception. Unfortunately, it was not a great roll, so it's a five plus seven, twelve. Um, you know, I mean, anything that comes in and out of here requires papers, man. I, uh, I don't, I, I don't, how do I know you're not someone that shouldn't be back in here? Well, as, as you know, I'm sure we had to leave our papers at the court room. Yeah, no, I don't know that. So. No. Uh, at this point, at this point, some of the other ones start uh, start grasping their their hilts um, and start walking. I cast, me. I cast mirror image and dip the hell out. Okay, so mirror image is going to stick with you, and it just keeps them from hitting yes. you. Okay, yes, it does. Yes, it All does. Right. Yeah, they're gonna they're like my mirror images are going to more or less mimic my action and follow me. But I cast mirror image and grab Osiris, and we dip. Okay, eat. All right, uh, so you dip, you football carry, you me. turn around and get out of there. Uh, he, you know, a couple of them. What uh, do you say as you do that? Uh, fuck you, loser! It's gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you dip out of there. This one guy takes a swing at you at disadvantage. A seventeen and a natural one. Yes. So he stumbles Yay. behind oh, you nice. and slams his shoulder into the door, closing it. Uh, so now they're all kind of shuffling, trying to open the door. It gives you a little bit more of a head start. Nice. What direction are you heading in? Uh, you do hear uh, from down the hallway the marching of feet from the other guards coming from the courtroom. Not that way. Yep. Uh, what other ways are there to go? Are there other? I guess we're going back to the holding cell. Yep. That's the only other way that yeah, you can go. That's the only other direction. So yeah, we're going that way. Nolan's still there. Yeah, you guys pass by Nolan uh, in his in his room attached. I flick him off. <laughs> <laughs> On our way by, okay. I point down at his pee pants and go ha. <laughs> that's <laughs> cool. All right. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys uh, make your way back over to the uh, the holding cell or the the main room that leads down to the holding area. Um, and in here, you see Sardo Cabled Off and Avanel of Everautum playing cards together. Oh. Uh, remind me who these people are again. Wait, I know you two. Oh, yeah. One of them, Archie, play, or uh, one of them, Bruce, played. Um, it was the two guys that were uh, at the jail cells with you guys. They were they were your guards there. Oh, Sardo was the the kind of like sheepish fellow. Oh, Sardo, that... you, okay, you banged his head into yeah. some yeah. stuff, and yeah, banged Sardo his head was into the newbie. The he yeah. was the newbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Uh. He stands up and draws his sword. Okay. Oh. <laughs> With it. Oh, is he playing uh, Ever yep, Autumn guy yep, again? Yep, Avenel. Oh, yeah. Bruce awesome. can still play <laughs> Avenel of Ever Autumn. Uh, um, hello. I'm going to have to ask the both of you to remain where you are. I'd rather not do that. Uh, you mean the four of us? <laughs> oh, yeah. And my, just... my duplicates run in right behind me. What the hell? What he said. Look, obviously I have two twin brothers, and we will decide not to hurt you if you just let us pass on by and get out of here. Well, which one's the guilty one of the crime that they're in the, or the one that they're going to try and do the in the in the court? Why are you? Oh, wait, you're. you're... That's a trick question because none of us are guilty. Okay, so you're. This is a this is a, a holdup kind of situation. No, we were all proven innocent, is what I mean. We're we're innocent. That doesn't fly. You can't be back here. I've got no indication or paperwork. We're just we're just trying to leave. Can you please uh, show us uh, the way towards the guards? No. <laughs> As a matter of fact, 
I've got a mind to take you down and put you back next to half-orc strong guy and girl who burnt down her home and whatever other scoundrels we've got down there. I wish you would try, kid. Mark, Mark, do we need to show him again what you did in the iron bars downstairs? How's your head feeling, son? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> and he, re- he pulls his <laughs> short sword <Dude>. out. <laughs> Avenel steps, yeah, Avenel steps out, draws his long sword, and he uh, bears it at Marg and Osiris, and he goes, For queen and country, you're going back to jail. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I will give you guys the opportunity, since you are trying to kind of uh, intimidate them with the, with the numbers thing. Um, go ahead and roll intimidation to see what they do, but they are prepared to try and maneuver and, and do an attack. Um, question. Roll a 10 plus 7, 17. How far away are we from the downstairs area from the whole, like where we are now? How many, how long would it take for us to get downstairs? Uh, I mean, you could do it in one uh, sprint. I sprint downstairs. Okay, so with, uh, with, well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're just going down. Yeah, uh, you can see Sardo um, is shaking. Uh, he is he's looking at you, Mark Bark, <laughs> and very uncertain of what's going on. Mark Barks. Mark Barks. Uh, yeah, there are three intimidators here. Avenel, his resolve is not shaken. Um, but Sardo Damn, doesn't. he's resolved as hell, too. With those keys that I have... I'm going to try the locks on the prisoners downstairs. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> okay. I don't know what those keys do yet, but hopefully. I don't either. We're going to find out. I'm going for my strong man orc guy first. Okay, so we're basically in a standoff uh, upstairs lover. between three barks and a scared yep. Sardo and an Avidel. Yep. Uh, you run downstairs while they're trying to do this, and everyone's feeling each other out because of uh, of that situation. Um, you make your way downstairs. Uh, what I say? There's four keys on here. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yes. You're going for Hack Fork Strong Guy first. Yes. All right. You run up to this thing, slide the key in there, turn it. The key disappears, and the jail cell unlocks. Oh, oh, (laughs) my wife came back for me. I love you. I'm going to give you so many babies. (laughs) The ceremony will be beautiful. My mother will be there. My uncle will not. I killed him. Oh, my God. (laughs) You know what? Fuck the queen and the crown. <laughs> After that, he's done. His, his psyche has been broken. All right, Avenel, uh, as he walks out, um, you can kind of see. Actually, yeah, you can you can see that his uh, his coloration on him changes from this sort of um, uh, oranginess to this sark- darker sort of uh, wintry colors. His his hair shifts to a bluish tint. His skin. Uh, tone shifts down and he just starts walking out. What does that mean? Uh, he's he is uh, he's a uh, one of them um, uh, elves, Eldarin, or whatever the the race is that uh, that they can change based on seasons. Oh, that's cool, Mr. Possible Future Husband guy. Possible this is, this is, is enough, not in but, my vocabulary. We, it look, is happening. We are in big danger. We are in big danger right now. Can, I will die if you do not help us right now. I eat danger. <laughs> me, picks, me and my purple, purple guy friend. Oh, okay. What, what about the rest? What about everybody uh, else? So who all was in here? I think it's just the woman that was in here, and then one other person that we That's never did we anything with. Discovered, Welcome. yeah. All right. So the other guy is Welcome. gone. The girl is still in the corner crying. Use your big strong arms to get her out. I would have done that on my cell if I was capable of it. <laughs> Use okay. The well, keys. we have no time. We have no time. We have to go. We leave her. She seems so small and sad. Okay, fi- fine, 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 fine. Well, put me down. Put me he down. You down. Put me down. He gives you a little kiss I on top of the there. head as he does. <laughs> All right. Okay, great. I, <laughs> I use another key. Uh, I use another key. I, I, I use a key. Okay. A key. All right. Uh, the same thing happens. The key disappears. There are now two left on the key ring. Hi, a friend. Um... Please don't hurt us. Uh, me, orc guy, and uh, a purple man upstairs. We're all really cool, and we want to help get you out of here, but you need to also help us get out of here, please. Okay, she picks her head up. She's she's young. Um, you can see she starts to wipe her face off. <laughs> I, bur- I burn 
them all. <laughs> yeah, burn them all. Except, uh, except uh, the people I told you not to, please, and we'll let no, you know. My, my family, but I'll burn them too. <laughs> oh, God. She's, she's oh, God. Goes out. Her, her. All right. She just dips, all right. Uh, yep, she runs up to the top. Hey, well. That might work because she's out and we started a fire. Oh, hey, yeah. We didn't start hey. the fire. All right. Uh, so it was all with fr- half orc strong guy. He goes, uh, Me grab you now, we leave. I put my arms up like uppies. <laughs> <laughs> he drops you up on his shoulder and he barrels upstairs. <laughs> hey, he gets up to the top of the stairs. He looks down at Sardo. Hey, buddy. I will crush you. <laughs> Sardo just <laughs> looks between Mark Bark and Half Orc Straw Guy and bolts between the mirror images out. <laughs> Have it out. Wait for me. All right. Where do you guys no. go from here? We need to get out. We need to get out right now. We need to find Six and we need to find Archie. Mark Bark. Wait. So they like we have Half Orc Strong Guy with yeah. us now, yeah, yeah. right? Oh. Let's go. Let's go back toward the courtroom. Let's just uh, go back to the courtroom. Hey, Mark Bart, let him borrow uh, Six's mace. I'm sure he won't mind. How about or- Archie's axe? Seems like it might do more damage. I like axes. <laughs> okay. I reach in the bag of holding, or the, excuse me, I reach in the Yan Sport of holding <laughs> and pull out Archie's axe. Fucking God. Wow, <laughs> an incredible <laughs> shrinking axe. Cool. <laughs> he takes it. All right, All right let's buddy, go. let's go. I need you to damage anyone that gets in our way. Let's go now. They didn't call me concussion man for nothing. <laughs> All right, so what? You guys are going back into the courtroom? Question mark? No, yeah, I no, got- no, 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 no. Let's 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 go back where we were already headed. Where where the guys were? The there were like seven guards All in right, that one you, room. They're, they're actually pouring out of that hallway, and you can hear uh, yeah. you can hear Nolan off in the side. Hey, help, help! Can you? Uh, I'm locked up in here. And a few of them split off. Nobody cares, Nolan. You always piss your pants. <laughs> we need to go that way. Everyone else just walking yeah, he's out. he's just done. <laughs> All right, so a couple go, of them split go, off go. to do that. So there's only five guys here as two guys go in and try and take care of Avenel. Uh, of, of, sorry, Nolan. You guys are just bolting towards? Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to go in there and fuck him up. All right. Do it for your wife. Ooh. Big, strong orc guy. Yeah, uh, he gets inspiration from this, and he just starts running towards these <laughs> guards, straight up linebacker style with the axe across <laughs> him, with the axe head blocking you on his shoulder. And uh, he barrels through them, um, or attempts to. He knocks three of these dudes down and creates an opening for you guys to move out uh, into, the, into the guard room. My duplicates and I are just following him. Just right behind him. All right, so they're going to just try and take swipes at you, Mark Bark, because they're kind of bit scared of this big guy. Uh, the two that are left standing, um, first one hits, or first one misses, second one misses as well. Wow, uh, that's where I start rolling dice. So. Yep. But they both miss, so it doesn't matter. I still have two duplicates. Both miss. You uh, you make your way outside back into this, uh, this guard chamber. Um, there's three guys that are now coming in that back door. Uh, you were told by Nolan that it's five to ten during shift change, so these are the remainder for the shift change. Um, they don't see anyone else in here, and they look at you guys. They see uh, half orc strong guy uh, Osiris hidden behind his axe up top, and Mark Bark. You're basically obscured by him uh, behind him. So they just see the big orc, and they go, "What the fuck?" Uh, and they're not currently armed at this point. They haven't taken anything off the walls and armed themselves. Half orc strong guy will will attempt to do. Something, unless you try to intervene. Nope. nope. Let him do it. Okay. Uh, he's running forward. Uh, they don't have any shields or mechanisms or armor or anything on, and he takes a swipe. Um, he is going to use a. <laughs> he's going to use a cleave against these guys. Yes. Uh, Get chop he, their heads off. He will hit all three and chop their heads off. Uh, you guys. <laughs> oh yes. Oh my god. Holy shit. I am way uh, more powerful than you. <laughs> you do realize that, like, Osiris has to marry this half Yep, now, if she right? doesn't... Like, has to. Like, must. If you don't marry me, I will turn you into paste. Uh, and, and, <laughs> and he... He, uh... He opens the door nicely. <laughs> what a polite gentleman. <laughs> and he runs out. He stops his rage and just... <laughs> All right, uh, so you guys are outside. Everyone is basically coming outside at once. Over to the left, uh, Mark Bark and Osiris, you can see a massive amount of people funneling out 
of uh, one side of this building. Um, uh, and, and that's just where a commotion is. Um, Osiris, uh, or the other set of the group, Archie and Six and everyone that you're with, uh, of course, you don't notice anything off to the side uh, until you hear... Aah! And uh, Strong Guy goes back into a rage after what? he nicely opened the door. Oh, okay. I, uh, I imagine that... Can I... Put me, put me on your shoulders. Maybe I can spot out our friends. You're already on his shoulder. So we, okay, we see them, though. Yeah, you can see them if you want to look towards the okay. commotion. Archie, uh, we're going right. And uh, um, I say, I say, guys, thank you for your help today. It, it's not going unnoticed. We'll be in touch. And I take off to the right. Okay. Towards today. <laughs> I taught everybody that was with us. Uh, your, the, the, the guys. And, Air um, Jour. Uh, the the one remaining satyr. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, you you move off uh, as you start to move. Um, Chandri grabs uh, the back of your clothing um, and says to you, ah, "No, I, Haran, and I are coming with you. You owe me, so." I am sticking to you like glue because where the fuck else am I going to go? I go back into polite society and someone will definitely hold me down and put me back in this courtroom. So we're not going anywhere without you. Sounds good. More the merrier. But we're going that way. And I point to the big orc running across the field. Okay. And, All right, and so Marg Barks. Three, three Marg Barks, which I'm confused about. Just hanging out there. <laughs> Um, all right. Is Archie following? Are we still in like a big moving crowd? You are. Okay. Uh, he's going to, Archie's going to look at Elias and be like, um, and Reggie and be like, all right. So did you guys, do you guys have a plan from where we're supposed to go from here? We can get ourselves out of here very easily. Um, at this point I've got contacts all over the city and we can make ourselves scarce. Uh, I've got the boy. Don't worry. All right, then, uh, I suppose we'll see you two around the bend. Uh, Aaron pipes up at this point. This will be a good song. I'm going to go out in the nature and get real naked and get fucked up and write it. <laughs> real <laughs> naked. <laughs> real naked. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, Aaron, you do whatever keeps you sane. Uh, you, guys, uh, you guys run off with um, Chandri and Harin. And eventually meet up with the others. Uh, as you're coming forward, um, Half Orc Strong Guy looks back up to you, uh, Osiris. He says, I have bad eyesight. Good guys. Are those good, guys good cool? Guys. Good guys. Yes, very good okay. guys. Okay. Friends. All right. Um, so he'll, he'll romp over there. Uh, so you guys are all together now. Woo! We did it. <laughs> we escaped. We did it. We did. We did a lot of things. <laughs> That Keep was... fucking moving. Yep, agreed. With uh, we got to get somewhere safe. I don't know where that is, but we need to make it to like the woods or some shit. Yeah, we got to get out of the city, and I have no idea we're going to do that. Um, all we're right, gonna try. At, yep. At this point, uh, you guys are making your way out and back into the city. I mean the the um, courthouse is smack dab in city center. Uh, Archie, I mean you know you used to know this town like the back of your hand. It's changed a bit as you're out in its streets. Um, certain things have been built, certain streets have been torn down. A lot of things are either uh, dilapidated or, you know, being regentrified in certain areas. So your old haunts uh, aren't quite the same. Um, but if you were pressed, you could probably find your way around and find someplace. Uh, Chandri will pipe up at this moment and he'll say, all right, we have to get someplace safe. And then after that, I suggest you all come with me to Parosha. The crown is going to be after all of us, and that is the only place where we can make some sort of attempt at not being found. Does this make us outlaws? I've never been an outlaw before. Yes. Welcome to the club, sweetheart. Chandri, I don't mean to be rude, but you're aware who you're talking to now, right? Uh, Nobody knew who I was for a decade in this city. Chandri, or, uh, Chandri will try and speak at this point. I and... Haran will put his hand on Chandri's shoulder firmly. Uh, he'll say, look, I, I know um, that this is not the best predicament that we find ourselves in, but it 
would be best, I think, for us to get out of here, uh, get equipped, and go someplace that no one will find us for now. Um, before we even arrived, your faces were on. Posters posted outside of the jail cell. Your trial was well advertised. Well, that's that's fine. That's fine, and I'm okay with that. I can't speak for everyone here, but there's a pit stop we must make on the way to Perosha. Uh, Chandri will say, and where exactly is that? There's a stone in Drosden Mill, and we're going to get it. Why on earth would you want to go to Drosden Mill? No one lives there anymore. 